The bus strike was the last resort, say Tao. As the nationwide bus strike, now in its sixth day, continues, bus workers appear more defiant than ever, with trade unions calling for intensified strike action. The strike, which started on Wednesday, came as a result of failed wage negotiations between the unions and bus company bosses. It was hoped negotiations would end the impasse last week, however, they ended in a deadlock following a two-day meeting with the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration CCMA. As the nationwide bus strike, now in its sixth day, continues, bus workers appear more defiant than ever, with trade unions calling for intensified strike action. The strike, which started on Wednesday, came as a result of failed wage negotiations between the unions and bus company bosses. It was hoped negotiations would end the impasse last week, however, they ended in a deadlock following a two-day meeting with the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration CCMA. 50 bus companies not operating. We only started striking three months after negotiations started. The bus strike was the last resort, she said. Unfortunately, the strike is hurting the commuters, but they understand our struggle because the commuter and the workers are the same people. A joint statement from Saitawa, the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, NUMSA, Tyrazano, the Transport and Allied Workers Union of South Africa and the Transport and Omnibus Workers Union said that the intensified strike action was in response to the employer's provocative attitudes during negotiations. They were not very forthcoming during negotiations and it was very frustrating. We have not heard anything about future meetings, but we remain open to it, Sabella said. At least 50 bus companies across the country are not operating as the strike intensifies. Golden Arrow Bus Services spokesperson Bronwyn Dyke Bayer said that the company sympathized with its workers. It's difficult to quantify financial loss. We're more concerned about our passengers and our colleagues. The policy is no work, no pay, so we are worried about them, Dyke Bayer said. Yeah.